Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the topic living and non-living things. Improve your learning. Question answers for this lesson. Look at the first question children. First question is list out common characteristics of living things. So here these are the characteristics of living things are growth, movement, taking food, breathing, getting rid of waste that is excretion, response to heat, response to light and response to touch. Next is giving birth to young ones that is reproduction. Next second question. Why do cockroaches come out of their places when lights are put off? So here cockroaches are nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animals means they are active at night time. They get their food and other needs at night only. Hence when we put off the lights then they come out in search of their food. Third question which characteristics are same in both living and non-living things? Here the living things have characteristics such as growth, movement, breathing, response to stimuli etc. But non-living things do not possess these characteristics. So they do not have nothing in common. So living and non-living things does not have any characteristics in common. Next fourth question. Which of the following are derived from living things? So here they have given some of the things like sugar, coconut oil, pen, rice, fan, omelet, bus, wooden chair, garland, mango, cloths, fruit juice. So here when you observe these things, they are obtained from the plant source. So like sugar, coconut oil, rice, omelet, it is obtained from the egg which we obtain from the animals. Wooden chair, it is obtained from the plants. Garland, garland is flowers which we obtain from the plants. Mango, cloths, fruit juice. So here the things derived from living things are sugar, coconut oil, rice, omelette, wooden chair, garland, mango, cloths, fruit juice. So these are the things obtained from living things. Next question. How can you say that a tree is living even though it does not move? Even though it does not move, how can you say? So, here is an answer. Plant or tree is a living thing as it poses the characteristics of living things though it cannot move like other living things. Like human beings and animals, they move from one place to another place. But tree or plant cannot move. Even then, it is a living thing. Why? We will see. Plants grow to become trees. So, here growth is the characteristic. They take nutrients and water from the soil. They also respire. respire. They excrete the waste substances by different methods. They show response to sunlight and grow in that direction only. They germinate seeds and dispose them to different place to continue their species. So, with all these characteristics, we can say that a tree is a living thing. Next question. Sixth one. What is the use of microscope? So, we know that microscope is an instrument with the help of which we are able to see minute things which we cannot see with our eyes. It works like a hand or magnifying lens but it is much more powerful. Microscope is used to observe the body structures of small living things for example bacteria, virus, protozoa etc. Next, seventh question. Is a fill in the blank. Thread like structure developed in bread are mold. M-O-U-L-D. It is called as mold. 
एट्थ क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए रेस्पॉन्स टू स्टिमुलस फीलिंग कोल्ड बाय टचिंग आईस इट इज रेस्पॉन्स टू स्टिमुलस नेक्स्ट फीलिंग द वेट ऑफ कैरिंग ए बैग ऑफ बुक्स स्क्रैचिंग द स्किन एट द प्लेस ऑफ एंट बाइट क्लोजिंग आईस इमीडिएटली आफ्टर सींग ब्राइट लाइट सो वेन यू ऑब्जर्व ऑल दिस मल्टीपल चॉइस ओनली दिस वन फीलिंग द वेट ऑफ कैरिंग ए बैग ऑफ बुक्स इज नॉट ए रेस्पॉन्स टू स्टिमुलस दिस इज रेस्पॉन्स टू टच दिस इज ऑल्सो रेस्पॉन्स टू टच एंड दिस इज रेस्पॉन्स टू लाइट सो दिस इज नॉट द रेस्पॉन्स टू स्टिमुल सो दिस इज द आंसर नेक्स्ट नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन हियर दिस इज एन एक्टिविटी कलेक्ट स्वीट पोटैटो बॉटिल सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर टेक ए बॉटिल फुल ऑफ वॉटर एंड एड सॉल्ट देन पुट द स्वीट पोटैटो इन साइड द बॉटिल ऑब्जर्व फॉर अ फ्यू डेज वॉट हैपन्स नोट योर ऑब्जर्वेशन हाउ कैन यू प्रूव दैट स्वीट पोटैटो इज ऑल्सो ए लिविंग थिंग सो हियर विल एक्सप्लेन दिस एक्टिविटी Firstly if we keep a sweet potato in salt water for some days we will observe that some sprouts may arose from some points of the sweet potato if we cut sweet potato into pieces such that each piece will have one sprout and plant it it will grow as a new plant the growing of a plant from any part of a sweet potato shows that it is a living thing next Tenth question. Venkatesh argues with his friend Tanvir about seed is living. Think what questions does Tanvir ask? So we have to prepare the questionnaire. So here are some of the questions I have given regarding the seed as a living thing. How does seed breathe? How seed reproduces its species? Does the seed move? what is the food of the seed how does seed get rid of waste so these are some of the questions you can add many more next question 11th question what will happen if there is no stomata in leaves write your predictions so we know that stomata are the tiny holes present on leaves through which exchange of air takes place it is like a nose for a plant if the plants do not have stomata they cannot breathe hence the plant may die next question 12th one write down the steps of the experiment that you did in the lab to observe microorganisms in pond water so here is the experiment steps to observe microorganisms in pond water so firstly we have to collect water samples from different ponds and keep them separately put a drop of water on a slide and cover it with a cover slip and observe under the microscope we will observe different type of microorganisms in pond water so this shows that different microorganisms are present in water they may be harmful and this is causing microorganisms so hence we should drink safe and clean drinking water to avoid the diseases and infections next question how do you feel when you touch touch me not plant write your feelings so here it is amazing to observe touch me not plant when we touch the leaves of the plant the plant immediately folds its leaves after some time it opens its leaves again next question here prepare venn diagram to represent living and non living characteristics of tree and dog and tree so here dog and tree so firstly we have to write the characteristics shown by the dog and tree and then we have to write the common characters of both dog and tree in this area so here when dry this is called as venn diagram so first dog here is a tree so 
dog locomotion that is it moves from one place to another place but tree grows in a particular place only so here dog and tree both are the living things so they show the common characters as growth breathing excretion response to touch light and heat and reproduction also these are the common characteristics only the difference is dog moves and tree does not move it stays at a particular place so in this manner we have to explain the venn diagram next question 15th one do you think both living and non living things are necessary for our environment why so here the answer is yes living and non living things both are necessary for our environment see living things like plants and animals are useful to environment as plants absorb carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and release oxygen CO2 is carbon dioxide and O2 is oxygen animals absorb oxygen from environment and release carbon dioxide plants are food to herbivores herbivores means plant eating or leaf eating animals and carnivores means flesh eating animals see carnivores eat herbivores next is snakes kill rats and help farmers next is non living things like stones clay sand are useful for many purposes in our day to day lives such as for growing crops and building houses etc next look at the last question collect information from your school library or internet about sir j c bose who invented response to stimulus in plants so here we will write about j c bose that is jagadish chandra bose the eminent scientist of india who contributed valuable information to the world of living things he conducted several experiments on plants and discovered that plants have life he also said that they exhibit feelings that is response to stimulus he discovered an instrument crescograph to find out the growth of plants so these are the question answers of the 16th lesson okay children thank you keep watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe